Hello world! Today we are going to do some experiments with the BMU unit, which is for battery management. Uh, the goal of this is to cheat all the car to think our battery has more capacity than it actually has. So what we have for that? According to wire diagrams, we have a CAN bus here at pins 6 and 7. And we have uh, power wires here. The first pin is a battery voltage. The second one shows 12 volts when ignition switch is on. And the third one is ground. Uh, so, also we have um, this handmade uh, CAN bridge, which consists of two 2515 modules, Arduino non-compatible controllers there. And the goal of this, the purpose of this, is to be used as a CAN bridge to patch packets going through that. So step two, I've cut uh, the CAN bus wires coming outside of the BMO and connected that to uh, one of the sides of the CAN bridge. Uh, then the other part of the CAN bridge is connected to the other side of the bus. So basically we have a man in the middle, meaning cone bridge in the middle, and what it is doing now, it is just passing by every packet coming in and out bidirectionally with no changes. The ground has been temporarily connected here, and uh, I've just uh, connected the power supply directly to the battery here. So it's a very temporary setup. It is not for driving, making this pretty unsafe. And let's see if this actually will work as expected. And the expected result is that the car will be able to go to the ready mode. Let's see, no errors detected. Check in. All right. I think we can uh, drive. Oops. It is unhappy with something. Not sure what is this. Um, switching off the ignition. The error is still there. Let's do it again. No error detected. It can go to ready mode. So the ready mode is achievable and uh, there are no errors yet. So that could be a trace of oops. It dislikes something need to check what is that. Okay, doc. After a few screw ups, I was able to actually make this working more properly. So I've removed the terminator resistor link on the part which goes out of the bridge. I've kept one which is uh, going from the BMO. So um, I think this is a proper way to do that. So now I have the ready indicator and uh, no error so far and it kind of works as expected so i can switch it off i can start it it keeps working whatever i want so i'm switching it off i'm going to start it
and it's in ready mode no error appears so, so this is the proper setup basically I've disabled all the login to the serial port on the bridge I think it had not enough speed to actually handle that even at 2 megabits so you need to filter your logs when you're trying to log the output and uh, currently this works also it's actually powered right now from the USB which is uh, connected to my laptop and so far it works also I've grabbed some data and we'll try now to fake the capacity and uh, I will try to fake the state of charge and let's see no errors so far all right cool okay now it is time for fun to begin here we have uh, our dump of some con traffic and uh, whatever i am looking for is the ID374 and uh, here we are looking for the capacity byte which is 57 on my setup now in the Conbridge software what I am trying to do is uh, add some logic here saying if message ID is 374 then the buffer of the second bridge uh, byte 6 will be replaced with the same actual value 057 I'm programming this into the bridge and now it says done I'm powering on my vehicle it says 55 kilometers, right? Switching off the ignition just in case. Now, um, let's see. Let's replace this 57 value with something greater, like 70, I don't know, 9. It's in hexadecimal, you know. So we are writing this again into the bridge. All right, it says loaded. Now let's switch on the ignition. And we already have 77 kilometers at the same charge, at the same capacity. Okay, let's see if we can do more. What do we have here? We have 79. Let's put, I don't know, 99. You know, compiling, writing this. The compiling was unnecessary. It compiles every time automatically. All right, it's compiled. It's in the bridge right now. Whoa, we have an error here because we did that without switching the ignition off and the mileage is 755 so ah, it's a disaster let's switch the ignition off and then let's switch it on and we have 97 kilometers remaining so let's do even more i know you can then mm. let's switch it off We'll be in trouble again. Cool. So, for this, let's see. Let it be maybe B6. 
uh, writing this into our bridge. All right, it's programmed. Now power it on. So we can drive 115 kilometers at half of the charge. Right, so um, basically we can also try to fake the state of charge and then show even more impressive values. But let's see how it works with the maximum ones, what we can report as a capacity. So switching it off. And uh, let's try this to be actually, I don't know, F, D. Trying to write this into this bridge. It's in. Now, let's see. 160 kilometers and the state of charge is very far from full. So if we will have a full battery, I think we will be close to 300 kilometers. So far we actually wrote the capacity there, the fake capacity, and we have our panel showing whatever values we want. So it says ready now. No errors happening so far yet. And I think that's an impressive result for just one day of experiments for a very, very uh, cheap bridge from Arduino compatible board and two MCP to 5.5 boards and a very primitive setup. I believe that's a cool result, you know. Okay, now um, we are going to try to fake the current capacity. Still the same car, still the same uh, state of charge. And uh, what I'm doing here, we have two capacities here actually reported in bytes zero and first. Basically the original values were uh, like, let me see search for 70 and 85 those are calculated uh, with different methods so we don't care much about how i'm just adding basically now plus 40 to each of them and writing that right in the vehicle i'm sorry into the bridge Okay, it says done. Let's see what changes so far. Yeah, we have kind of full battery, not yet full, but you can see it's definitely uh, charged higher than it was before. It says 22 kilometers remaining, which is also awesome. So uh, we just kind of made a um, kind of fake upgrade of our battery without upgrading the battery. So basically what we need to do actually is to change the uh, capacity byte and that will allow us to um, use the bigger battery and see uh, remaining mileage calculated. So um, also we can uh, adjust the states of charge according to our newer upgraded battery chemistry according to the discharging curve to make uh, the states of charge showing more accurate values. So far we have everything done to start our battery upgrading. Let's see, uh, no errors appear so far. Everyone is happy. Yep. So this is it. This is our simple setup. I will post the link to the code under this video. Thank you for watching and have a good day, guys.